Hello. Yancy, Diego, how are you? How are you, teacher? Good yeah. evening. Good evening. I'm fine. A busy day, an easy day, a difficult day, a stressful day. How was your day? I think it's good. <laughs> because I, I, have a, I have a job. This is very, very important today. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have a job. Do you like your job? Yes, I like. Mm -hmm. What do you like about your job? Mm, maybe I like because I learn uh, to make a furniture is is good. I like to make uh, something, and so it's very very interesting. And is is good when when I have an idea in in my mind. I draw the, this idea, this idea to draw, uh, next to make uh, this idea in real life. It's very interesting when you see your idea created, right? You say, ah. Yes. You say, like, like in your mind, you imagine, and then when you see, ah, yes, like this, like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like them. Okay. Great, good. So now, and um, Diego, when you were young, when you were a child, did you like to do things with your hands? Like mechanic or other, did you like to do things with your hands? Yes, I like, yes, yes, I like, I like inventing. I like, I like to, I like draw, but I like the um, uh, architect. I, I, I remember when I was a child, I wish, I wish, uh, I wish to be an uh, architect. Okay. And where did you go to school? Where did you live when you were a child? So, I, when? so, in my case, I don't have an opportunity for to to study design or something or like. No, never, never. You went to to a class like in Marte, or you went to a class like in the in the city hall, uh, or the municipal where they have the class for art. No, 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 no. I, oh, I don't okay. have an opportunity when I was a child, but. Uh, Maybe five years ago, I had the opportunity to, to learn uh, to learn uh, play the instrument, musical instrument. So um, I like to learn something, uh, uh, something else like uh, music or like uh, make it something. Okay, all right. And that is what we're going to do, like what I am talking with Diego. We're going to talk about the activities, but today we are going to focus not in your job, not in the things now. We're going to talk about your past. When you were a child, a teenager, what school did you go to? What did you want to learn? Why did you like it? So today the focus is the past for when you were younger, not now, not the activities okay. for today. The activity, no, ah, today. Yes, you can begin. For example, what do you do? What did you, ah, and then begin questions. Why, what happened? How did you begin? When did you start? These types of things. It's okay how to do it? It's okay the demonstration? Yes, it's okay. It's okay, all right. Yeah. yeah. Yancy, do you have a question? Um. Mm. Not teacher. Segura? Eh. Ah, sí. Eh, cuando pregunto eh, sobre, o sea, sobre la oración, cuando usted, cuando decimos, how you ever going? 
eh, Chu, la unión. Lo que me cuesta es la respuesta que tengo que dar. Si ah, siempre no. tengo que decir eh, ha, ha, how I, I do la unión. Ok. So, the answer, Yancy, always is the same. The, eh, always two answers. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Ya la respuesta en detalle ya puedes cambiar el tiempo. Pero la respuesta para empezar, yes, I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Correct. Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank okay. you. You're welcome, Yancy. Y solo para aclarar, Yancy, la actividad de ahorita no es obligación usar esa estructura, sino que solo hablar y hacer preguntas de cuando eran jóvenes. Ok. Ok, okay teacher. All right. so, Pero es para, es para utilizar las palabras que dijimos ayer. Yes, sobre excellent. That, yes. Uh -huh. No, no. Ah, okay. y, y lo digo para los demás, para que no crean que ah, ya tenemos que usar así con el hub. No, no, no. Pueden usar esa. Esa es una de las formas de preguntar para el pasado, pero no es la única, ¿verdad? Podemos usar did you, when, why, where. Y acuérdense que también tenemos el verbo to be, where. Were you a bad boy? Were you a good girl? Were you, lo que sea. Ahí hay diferentes formas, pero ¿cuál es el objetivo? Buscar información de la adolescencia o de la niñez de su compañero. ¿Qué le gustaba hacer? ¿Qué hacía? ¿Dónde estudiaba? ¿Cuánto? Toda esa información. All of the WH questions. Ok. Ok. All right. Let's try. Miriam, we are talking about our childhood.
Stephanie, we're talking about our childhood. Jose, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day, Jose? I'm fine, very tired for my work. This day is very heavy. Ah, a lot of activities, huh? Yes. I imagine, I imagine is and tomorrow's Friday. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and tomorrow is very heavy too. Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Well, don't worry. We are coming back from the groups. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Good. So now we have many different ways to use the past tense, right? You use the past tense with did, past tense with was, past tense with have, all of the past tense. It's okay? Yesterday we learned. Chatting. Yes. Okay. No, no, no. Please, please. Uh, mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Then, uh, in my group, uh, we we used uh, simple past and um, past participle. Excellent. Remember the past participle always with have, right? I have, and then the past participle is good. Good. Good job. Okay. So now we're going to finish unit four. Unit four is, if we remember, the idea was the recipes, the different words. Do you remember the words that we used yesterday to describe the recipes? Yes, teacher. What were the words that we used? Let me try to put. Fair, uh, then, um, next. Next. After that, after that, after that, finally, first, finally. next, that would like for you. Hey. After that, after that, good. You remembered, you remembered the word first, then next, after that, finally, good. Remember that first is obligation at the beginning, finally is obligation at the end, but the others is no problem. You can change for anything that you like, okay? So we're going to take a look. We're going to do 4.5 with our partners in the platform, 4.5. We're going to do with our partners and we're going to describe what is your food that you would like, that you liked when you were a child or now, and how do you prepare it? Maybe for you, you like minutas. Minutas in English are called snow cones. Ah, okay. And then you say, oh, when I was a child, I liked snow cones or mango twist, right? How do you prepare? What do you use? Mm -hmm. All of the different things. So we have two activities. Activity one, 4.5. This is activity one. Complete 4.5 in the platform. Okay, activity two is, okay, describe a recipe, okay? So if I select, oh, I like ravioli, I like nuegados, I like uh, um, atoll, whatever, if the name is not important. It's not important the name, the name, the important is explain the process, explain how to make, right? Because sometimes you say, oh, I, Teacher, how do you say? And then you say, ah, charamuscas. Charamusca, charamusca. It's, it's Salvadorian, <laughs> right? It's not, uh -huh. it's not another word. For example, sushi. Sushi is not English. Sushi is sushi. Chow mein is chow mein. It's not, a, it's not English. The name is not important. The important activity is 4.5. You understand how to answer for the steps and that you can explain how to make a recipe. Those are the two activities. Are you ready? Miriam? Yes, teacher. teacher. Si, yes, teacher. How do you say tortilla? Uh, uh, it's the same. Tortilla, tortilla frita. Fried. Fried tortilla. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just that's why when you Thank go. Thank you, teacher. For, for example, uh, the Americans, when they eat tacos, what are the names? Taco, tacos, taco. Tacos. Exactly, because it's the tacos. name. It's okay. the name. Uh -huh. How do the Americans say horchata? Horchata. Exactly. Orchata, no. Yes, it's the name. You go to New York, Chicago, Miami, California. Ah, I want three tacos and one horchata, please. And that's it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Thank uh -huh. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So remember, the names, the names. No problem. The important is explain the steps. 
Use, think of the vocabulary. ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, harina. How do you say mezclar? How do you say? This is the important. Explain the process and the vocabulary. Are you ready? Teacher, how do you say, I don't know, aplastar o ah. pegar con un mazo? I don't know. No, no, it's that, excellent. That, that, como, excellent question, ah, Como cuando usted, por ejemplo, la, el, para hacer puré de papa, no sé, yes. o sea, algo así. No, yes. Tiene que aplastar o moler, pero no sé cuál es. Yes, ah. it's okay. Do you watch Marvel movies? The Marvel? The Avengers? ¿Cómo mm, dice Hulk? Yes. Hulk qué? Hulk Sometimes. Qué? ¿Qué dice Hulk? ¿Cómo digo? Ah, lo viste en español, va. No lo viste en inglés. Ah. Hulk smash. <laughs> smash. <laughs> The word is smash. Mm -hmm. Smash okay. potatoes or parade or yes, this is the idea. Okay, let's go with our partners and practice. Let's try two activities, 4.5 from the platform and then describe the recipe. You can do it, you can do it.
Ana Francisca. Okay, you ready? Let's take a look. What's number one? What was number popcorn. one? Popcorn. Okay, popcorn. popcorn. Okay, good. What about number two? What was number two? Number one. Finally, I'm a little sus. Okay, good, good. Number three, what was number three? First, good in second one. Oh. The second. Okay. And the last one here, which is not an adverb. That is not a First and finally. Finally. First and finally. First and finally. Okay. Hey, excellent. Look, all our answers are correct, 100%. It's okay how to describe the recipes? Yeah. Yes? Okay, good. Now let's take a look at our new unit. The new unit for today is unit five. Here, who, would, who would like to read? Me, teacher. Thank you, Amelia. Okay. Okay, teacher. Tell me a minute, please. Okay. No puedo ver, teacher. No puedo leer, está muy pequeño. Okay. Uh, the future tense is what that we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. English teach your sense, explain these two different ways to talk about future plans step-by-step. Step. Using a simple for formula, ask, ask and answer question using going to and will 
as auxiliary verbs and practice discussing, discussing for future plans. For example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the day. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Yes, the idea is we are going to talk about the future, but with two different functions. We are going to learn to use going to, okay? And then we are going to learn how to use will. So going to and will are the ones that we use for the future, but they are different. Does anybody know the difference when we use going to and when we use will? Teacher, uh, uh, so go ahead, Miri. Go ahead too. You please go ahead. You please. Okay. Uh, I think the difference is uh, going to is for something you have to do in a few minutes, and we can use will when you have to do something in, in the future, tomorrow, next week, or next, next year. I don't know. Okay, no, no, thank you. Thank you, it's good. Thank you for your answer. Nice, it's good information. Actually, going to and will have a little difference. The difference is going to, we're going to use it for plans that you already decided. You made the decision before and will, we're going to use wills for possibilities that you have not made a decision. Here, yes, the decision. Here, no, the decision. First, let's listen a little bit to what Jose Science has to say about it. And then we have another activity for the listening. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm gonna to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. So in this moment, listen and take notes of the, of the conversation, all right? So listen and take notes. Then we have to answer some questions. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call them tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay. It's okay, or one more time? One more time. Okay. Okay. Remember, listen and write what activities they're going to do, the time that they're going to have vacation, where they're going to sleep, why. So listen and get all of that information. Activities, the time, the place, the location. Okay. One more time. Listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. 
What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, let's take a look. What information do you have? What activities are they going to do? Uy, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> <laughs> the girls going to uh, going to the, the beach. Okay, one, the place. Good. They're going to go to the beach. Uh-huh. And the activities at the beach. And they are surfing yes. and fish. Yes. Surfing, fishing, going to the beach. Uh -huh. Going to the beach. And in they are, they are sleep, sleeping at uh, the beach house, the Uncle Beach House. Whose beach house? The, his, her, her uncle. Her uncle, okay, her uncle. all right. In camping. I, I, I think Aida is listening to the news, right, Aida? You're listening to the president. <laughs> yeah, my, my parents. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I, I just, I just yeah. checking, no problem. And then, how long is their vacation? How long do they have? For okay, uh, all weekend, all mm. weekend. No, no, no. <laughs> mm. I maybe listen two day off. Two days off, one weekend. Mm, alguien más? Jose Carlos, how many, how long is the vacation? Uh, on Monday. Oh, Mondays, oh, okay. This one is two weeks, two weeks oh, off. Two weeks. Uh -huh. okay. Cerquita, cerquita, ahí vamos. Ahí. <laughs> uh -huh. ¿Por qué cerquita? Porque escucharon el dos. No lo ubicaron con qué, pero escucharon el dos. That's good. It's two, <laughs> but it's two weeks. It's okay. two weeks. Two okay. Weeks. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to watch a little bit more of the video. What is the grammar in the video? Let's watch just a, another two minutes, a minute and a half. Now let me present the structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket, you already got permission from your job, so it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't ask my boss whether I can go or not and so in order to express that 
idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. Okay. So what is he explaining? He explaining that really, really, if you use going to is because you plan, you already have the idea. When you use will is because you don't plan. Normally, when you use will is because you use, for example, I guess, maybe, I think, I probably, if you use these expressions, then you're going to use will because you don't know. You are only thinking about the possibility, okay? It's okay the difference going to and will? Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, how do you say, oh no. Como se pronuncia, o como se, se dice la palabra, por ejemplo, donde dice, I don't not, is no, I think. I, que están las, como las tres L, I, doble L. Ah, ah ya, ya te entendí, ya uh -huh. te entendí. Esta es una I mayúscula y estas dos son L y se pronuncia I'll, 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 uh -huh. I'll. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Okay, so remember, if you use possibilities like maybe, I guess, I think, I don't know, ah, then not going to, then it's going to be will. Will is the expression. It's okay the difference going to and will. Mm. Teacher, yeah. going to is is a plan for uh, for the future. Correct. Okay, and will is uh, for uh, near future and probably. Uh, es como creo que lo haré, pero uh, como con duda, algo así. So, a, algo así, pero no exacto. Estaba bien la segunda parte, no la primera. El no okay. se trata de tiempo, no se trata si es corto o largo, si es mañana o hoy o en cinco años. La diferencia es going to, lo estás planeando. Will, no estás segura. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Voy a ir a, a, a Italia. Puedes decir I'm going to go o puedes decir I will go. La diferencia es cuando vos decís I'm going to go es porque ya estás orando, ya estás pensando del lugar donde te vas a quedar, ya estás haciendo esos planes. I will es en el momento tomé la decisión o se me ocurrió o simplemente un deseo, pero no estoy planeando, sino que eso solo lo estoy viendo de I will. Por eso que decimos I will, I will usamos muchas veces estas expresiones. I guess. Maybe, maybe, I think, I probably, porque no sabes, simplemente estás imaginándotelo, tal vez, el, es el tal vez voy a, okay. eso es el will, el tal vez voy a. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. So, now, what are we going to do? We are going to go with our partners and we are going to ask questions for tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Y no solo, what are you going to do? No, seamos, hablamos más. What are you going to do? Mi, pare, mi compañero dice, I'm going to uh, watch TV. Ah, what are you going to watch on TV? I'm, se me dice, I'm going to go to the beach. What beach are you going to go to? What food are you going to eat? Who are you going to go to the beach with? What day? No, no, no quedamos solo con ah, going to. What, what, what? No. Vamos a hablar de los planes, pero preguntando. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Los días específicos. O what are you going to do this weekend? Weekend, fin de semana. Ok. O cada día. Y pueden ser específicos. Yo puedo decir, hey, what are you going to do Sunday morning? What are you going to do Sunday afternoon? Ahí podemos ir mezclando. But it's plans for the weekend.
It's okay. okay. Yes. It's okay. All right.
Okay, let's take a look. Um, let's start with Jose, Jose Isaias. Tell us, what is your partner going to do? Um, okay. Um, Miriam, uh, for example, uh, on Sunday, she going to work all day. Yes, she is going to. She's going to, she's going to work all day. And then uh, she arrive at her house and sleep. Good, okay. Remember, for the future, then she is going to arrive at her house and sleep. Okay. Good, all right. Medium, tell us about your partner. Uh, Jose Isaias has a, a good luck because uh, he said uh, he going to visit uh, some his family in uh, for for three days. And, and then uh, he said me, he said, he said us. Um, he, told, he told us? He, be, uh, he told us uh, he be going to visit uh, his family. Where? Uh, uh, he didn't say us. Okay. He didn't tell uh -huh. us. Okay. Tell us. No problem. Oh, good. Uh -huh. Good. All right. Alma, la uh, but, but uh, he, uh -huh. okay. No, no, no. Finish, meaning finish. Uh, uh, he tell us, he did tell us, uh, he, he visit, he visit uh, all beaches, in Sonsonate, en La Libertad. Ah, okay, okay. Sonsonate, en La Libertad. All right, nice. Alma, what about your partner? Tell us about your partner. What are their plans? Okay, maybe Alma has a little bit of problem. It's okay, sometimes technical issue. Stephanie, tell us about your partners. Hi, teacher. Well, Jose is going to work all day on Saturday, and then he's going to watch TV and relax. Super easy, huh? <laughs> Very good yeah. weekend, easy, relaxing weekend. Good. We are on Monday. We're going to review some more the past tense. But right now we're going to stop. Remember, complete unit four in the platform this weekend. Okay. And then next week we begin and we go on with unit five. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for connecting. Thank you for coming to class. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you on Monday. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, teacher. Thank you, guys. See you. See you. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.